What's going on, this Stephen C. Raphael, your OMAD man promoting one, de one meal a day. There's the OMAD man right there. <laughs> I scotch tape my business card, which shows that I am the OMAD man. Yeah, okay, well, I'll show you later. Okay, well, I like to say. Starting off with a G arpeggio, all right, in the key of G. And I would like to say I got thanks to you viewers out there. I am from the planet of Omania, mostly mania. Um, I would like to say that I got 10 new reasons from 70 to 80. Remember, I always think there's 80 things to remember. Just think all the benefits you'll have. Okay, I've got 80 things, but today I'm going to talk about from 70 to 80. All these reasons pretty much came from the people on my show, baby. All right, we're gonna go straight to the wheel. Okay, who do we got? Okay, we got uh, Michael Jackson. All right. Yeah, you know why I'm... Next, hold on, let me get Michael. Okay. You know why I'm really thin? Where is he? Because all I eat is just a little bit of food, all right? And I'm basically, maybe his metabolism... Couldn't have been his metabolism because his mom and dad were fat. I used to uh, teach Michael Jackson's bodyguard and, uh, and his dad, ah, that's a long story, who cares? That has nothing to do with it. We're gonna go straight on to uh, 10 new reasons. Okay, number one, number one, this is uh, reason 70. You will leave, a, I can't say this word right, I don't think, an ecological footprint, a smaller one, okay? Sorry about my turkey neck, I lost 60 pounds. This is what I used to look like about six months ago. And look, I was a hungry man. I wasn't hungry. My insulin was spiked. Okay, let's see. Uh, another thing, you will lose weight eating one meal a day because you don't got, you know, seven meals a week instead of breakfast, lunch, and dinner, the sad American standard diet, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then snack, 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 snack. That's about eight. Eight times seven is 56 meals a week, opposed to seven. Let's do some math. If you don't understand that, go back to the third grade. <laughs> okay, let's see. Your, your arthritis, if you have arthritis and you lose a lot of weight, think about it. If you're walking up the stairs holding you know, 200 pounds of luggage, it's gonna be a lot easier. Another thing, this is kind of a gross one, but you'll be able to clip your toenails a lot easier. I used to have so much trouble putting my shoes on. Okay, uh, another thing, uh, ladies, you'll be able to shave your legs a lot easier. Uh, let's see, you'll be able to go on Disneyland rides. You'll be able to fit. I played at Six Flags of Mountain, and this fat guy once said, I'm not getting off the ride. And they go, but sir, we can't get this thing of you. And you know what he said? Well, I'll just hold on to it. You know what happened next? He flew into the parking lot. He's dead now. Because, uh, I guess because he's overweight and he wouldn't get off the ride. So you'll fit into Disneyland rides better. Airline seats and motorcycle seats, that's another reason. I'm, I haven't memorized these old, I kinda got them memorized, but I wanted to do them with it for my show. You'll save money on food, which is a no-brainer. Gosh, okay, I wanna talk about my stomach is smarter. Uh, you'll, be, you'll be able to accept the party, uh, the pool party invitation, and you will, you will see life way much different. Now that last one, people probably might not really understand, um, so I just want to say every single Tuesday at 7 p.m., maybe 7.03, cause, uh, but 7 p.m., I am, is this thing on? <coughs> Check, one, mm. I am uh, going to be, do, be doing these live streams. I've noticed that a couple other, these OMAD people have been doing them. But I would like to, uh, I'd like to just start off by saying uh, some little poetry for you. If I speak in the tongue of men or of angels but have not love, I am only a resounding gong or clanging cymbal. If I have the give of, gift of prophecy and can fathom up all mysteries and knowledge but I have not love, I am nothing. Look, this is all about love. All you need is love. Nothing you can say that can't be said or something like that. Ah, it's a great song. I'm going to go back into that. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious. It's not boastful. It's not proud. It's not rude. Love seeks no records of wrong. It always protects, always hopes, always persevere. Listen, it's all about love. Love, love, love. If you love yourself, love, love, love. All you need is love. Isn't that a great song? I think uh, the Beatles wrote that for the Queen. Let me tell you something. 
You've got to love yourself. Okay, I'll tell you someone who really loves you. Steven, you're hitting the nail right on the head. Thank you, Mr. Rogers. The thing about it is, you know, I loved myself. I studied the Bible. I, I tried to help people. I went and volunteered at old folks' homes and played the piano. I played piano for the old folks home. I tried to help people. I tried to love people. None of it worked until I tried OMAD. I tried Weight Watchers. It didn't last. I tried Overeaters Anonymous and they took my cash. I tried so many things. I tried so many things. But it never, 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 it never lasted. The only thing that ever lasted, <coughs> check one, is OMAD. OMAD. Oh, and my day is the diet for me, but it's a lifestyle. Oh, and my day, I've got a degree. You know what? Here's my, you know, I don't need no certificate from no doctor's office or nurse office. Most of the doctors and nurses are overweight these days. And if you're a doctor or nurse, they probably go, um, this guy's a little bit hyperactive. Yes, I am, because I lost 60 pounds. Look at that tummy wummy. Oh, my gosh. Okay, look, there I am. Okay. I like to be uh, uh, over uh, uh, like this. Okay, we've got six minutes going on. Okay, I'd like to talk about the fact that, I'm, okay, listen, I got a viewer yesterday, uh, um, a subscriber that said, please, for more than one minute, stop changing the subject and talk about autophagy and talk about loose skin. Well, look, I got some loose skin here, and on my butt I got loose skin, it comes out. What's the alternative, though? Having it stretched out with fat under it? You know, <sighs> Or, I mean, look, I could go to a, a place and get this cut off or something, but you know what, I'll wear a turtleneck. I'm, you know, I'm gonna go on to that later, but I'd like to talk about the fact that the only drawback about OMAD is the fact that I completely have shrunk my stomach to about the size, I guess, of a baseball or smaller. I mean, I can't eat anything. I am never hungry anymore. Yesterday, I had a little bit of, for lunch, chips and salsa. I, I, I had my, my I, instead of five, I said, you know what? I'm here. There's a whole bunch of free samples and stuff like this. I'm in maintenance. I'm, I can't get more than 140. And uh, I had a little bit of guacamole and a little bit of chips and a little bit of salsa. I had a little bit of protein, carbs, and fats. Protein, carbs, and fat. And... I wasn't hungry for out the whole day. In fact, I feel like taking Pepto Bismol or like one of those Tums. I'm I, the only. I mean, I. I don't think I can eat half a piece of pizza anymore. Are you a man? You can't even need a piece of pizza. Uh, I used to eat two pieces of pizza with wings. Remember, Step Brothers? That's not enough money for wings. Okay, sorry. Um, okay, I want to say something that I think I should start saying on my show every single day. Every single day, kid, all serious, you guys, you've got to make and relearn and make a commitment to weight loss, to eating one meal a day. You, you know, um, every single day, if you're not growing in some way, if you're driving to work the same way, if you're having the same lunch, if you're saying, saying the same conversations, you're not growing. You're like a garden with a flower that's, or a plant that's not moving. You've got to change things up a little bit. And um, so today, re, you know, it, every day you have to make this commitment to, to doing it. I, I don't, I'm going to have to just keep saying it because I didn't know if I'm even saying it right. Okay, and as far as the uh, autophagy and the loose skin, the subscriber that kept saying, will you please talk about it? I'd like to talk about autophagy. I was a little bit hungry yesterday around uh, breakfast time and stuff, but you know what? Who cares? Weight loss, hunger equals weight loss. 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 Equals weight. I don't know how many times I can say it. Hey, if you're hungry, good. Stop being a baby. <laughs> oh, I'm hungry. Oh, I got a problem with my girlfriend. Oh, I'm a, oh hey, look, you're going to eat that? You know, hunger equals, if you're hunger, autophagy. If you're, hung, if you're hungry and you don't eat, your body has two choices. It's going to eat sugar. 
Do you think there's sugar in this coffee? No way, it's all just black coffee, okay? And I got all these cups. You, uh, if you go to the description, you can buy them. Mine hasn't came in the mail yet. Uh, but uh, so basically, we've got 10 minutes going. So I promised I'd talk to her. Atafiji just means, you know, lipolysis. It just means, hey, if I'm the body and I'm working really, really hard and all that kind of stuff, and um, I haven't eaten any sugar, any bread, any rice, any carbs, anything, it's gonna say, okay, let's see. I got a little bit of this right here. It's gonna use that. Oh, look, I look, I got a little bit of this. Do I got some chination? You know, let me tell you something. I didn't need to eat for a month and my body would have still, look at this. Look at my, my fake hair that I spent $120 a month. But you think I spend that? Let me tell you something. Here's the best advice that you could take from this. Why don't people spend four hours a day? You know what? You're going to have to wake up earlier. Oh, I don't know the time. I have a job. Okay, look. Here should be your job. You should be going on Facebook, on a one meal a day thing, or you should be posting in comments. Even say, hey, look, I ride a bicycle on this thing. Anything. You know, say I like Cheez-Its. You want to... Um, Talk to other people. Look at Nikki Houston. She lost like 20 pounds. She says that she's uh, on this. Oh, and look at all day, mom. She's an Eskimo from uh, the ice place. What is that place that America bought? Uh, some state, I forget. Arizona or something. Okay, look. She lost 20 pounds. She went to the doctor. People are calling these people skinny. Nothing is better than being skinny because... You need love yourself. Okay, I want to talk to you about some fat people that I've seen recently. This is a really tough it's subject because people are always ready to pounce on the old madman. I only get maybe out of 2,000 comments, I get a negative one. But uh, going back to, I told her I'd talk a little bit about autophagy. Listen, your body will burn fat if you're not eating sugar. That's all I can tell you. Keep it simple, Steve. Kiss. Okay, and as far as loose skin, I got a little bit of it here, but I'd rather have that than have balloonation or chination. You know, if you have loose skin, what do you do? Go to the doctor, have them cut it off, or deal with it. Okay, that's basically all I can say about that. I'd like to go on to the Zen proverb. Oh, mad man, oh, mad man, tell me how to lose weight through a proverb. Okay. The best way to help others, Grasshopper, is to become the solution and let them see. Because you could tell everybody, hey, you know, uh, eat one meal a day, lose this. But you know what? Don't listen to, you know, listen to, see, look, you could see that. Do you see any, you see, look at, see this right there? That looks fake. It looks like when uh, you see Shallow Hal or any of these guys wearing a big fat lady suit. Okay, I also want to talk about, uh, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate that. Thanks for the PayPal tips and thanks for all that stuff. I wanted to get to, I want to talk about a very, I, I didn't know how to approach this, but I play the piano at some place. You know, stop spreading the news. Oh, I'm leaving today. You know, they're here. New York, New York. You know, blah, blah, blah. you know all the kind of... Ah, you know how it goes. Okay, I play piano very nice at a department store now for a couple hours a day. And uh, everybody goes by and says hi and smiles and stuff like that. And I'm playing and I, I play where I don't even need to look at the keys. Hard and so. But huge people, not fat people that look like I had a couple extra hamburgers, but I'm talking 380 at 480 and up. They walk by, not one of them will look me in the eye. What I want to do, being the OMAD, being the OMAD man, I want to help these people. Basically, if I see one of them walk by and they don't look at me for some reason, I walk by and go, cool hair, man. You know, like that. And then they, but what I'm really saying is, hey, I really care about you. Um, I lost, I, I, I was really overweight and I, you know, I was there. That's what I'm saying inside my heart. But I got to say, hey, cool hair. Because usually they got really, you know, color hair or they, you know, got really cool clothes or anything. It's just something or, you know, 
I just, I feel that if I could just connect or walk by and brush your shoulder on accident, any kind of connection, I could just let them know that there's a whole life out there. Number 80, you'll see life way different. And I just want to say that, uh, I feel like Richard Simmons right now, but I just want to say uh, thank you for watching this I don't know what I'm trying to say. I want to try, somebody can help me out by just saying, you can't go up to him and say, hey, you're fat, I can help you out, eat one meal a day. It just doesn't work that way. I just like to say, oh, I've got a degree at the old man university. Love is patient, love is kind, it's not envious, it's not boastful, it's not proud, it's not rude. Love keeps no records of wrong. If you have a friend, you're writing down all the things that they did, well, you know what? That's not love, baby. I gotta go back to the planet of Omedia. We're gonna end on there, and I just wanted to say, you know, eat one meal a day. That is, it's pretty simple. Oh, one other thing. If you have any suggestions, like the lady that said, hey, talk about a... a uh, Apophagy or autophagy and uh, you know, I'm gonna do this show for the rest of my life. If you want me to sing more, sing less, play more piano songs, if you want me to talk about uh, I don't know what, uh, if you'd like to, if you'd like to be talk about he's a big, big boy, he's a big, big boy, he's a big, big boy. Let me know and uh, thank you very much. Uh, I'll, you know, please network and let me know and all that stuff. And this is not my show. This is our show. Let's say it together. Duh. I like you. See you tomorrow.